Hi, welcome back to practicalstudent.com and this is the last part, the fan blade design for the desk fan project. Now you're required to design a fan blade to go in the model, you're not giving it any working drawings, so you have to come up with the design yourself. There are a few considerations to take into account, but you can pretty much come up with anything. So the very first consideration that I think is very obvious is that it needs to be smaller than this circle which has a 96 diameter but I also think it should be I'm going to make mine so that it's level with these curves here which is a radius of 40 mainly because there's going to be two screws going in here holding the shields or the safety cover onto a bracket and you don't want the blade to hit those as they come across okay so that if we make it 40 it's going to fit that uh, next consideration is the material I'm going to make it out of a uh, 3mm red perspex. You could make it out of aluminium, which would, if it was 1mm, would be lighter. If it was 3mm aluminium, it would be heavier. So, those are considerations to take into effect, account as well. Obviously, the colour is up to yourself. Um, another thing that we want to look at do we want the blade just to be flat, or do we want to put a slight angle on it? And I'm going to put an angle on it. So this is a basic drawing, please excuse the quality of it, um, of the design that I'm going to come up with. So I'm going to have, a, oh, sorry, another consideration that I hadn't mentioned was how are we going to attach it? So this is the motor and we have a spindle here on the motor. This is a diameter of 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a 10 millimeter hole in the middle of my fan that will be able to be tight fit onto that and maybe use a bit of glue. And that should hold it okay. Be able to make sure that it's level with the surface here and perpendicular then to the axis of the motor. I'm going to basically copy this pattern here for each blade. Sorry. This pattern here for each blade. So this is the same dimensions as we have here. Radius 40 to the outside, radius 36 to the um, pitch circle, radius 4 for these blades. And I'm going to make the tangent the sides here tangential with the 10 millimeter hole. Now we have to hold it all together, so there's going to be a 20 millimeter circle in the middle, which will come over, it'll slightly protrude into that area there, but it will be smaller than the pitch circle here. Um, other than that, I think it's just a matter of making it. I'm also going to put a slight tilt on the blade. This is exaggerated, but they will say that's the center of the blade here, and then each one of the four will have a slight tilt on it, which should help push the air out through the front of the fan. So I'm going to get started marking it out on this piece, and I'm not going to talk through that, you can just watch along and see how it goes.
Okay, so the part is completed. The shape is pretty consistent, I like it. Um, I've spent a bit of time polishing the edges using emery paper, um, scotch bright pads and um, the polishing wheel. There's a little mark there I'll have to attend to again. Uh, now, what I want to do next is I want to bend it at this angle. Okay, so what I've created is this little block of wood that hopefully will help me do it. Um, I've drilled a hole to match the hole here, 10 millimeters, and I'm going to use a 10 millimeter drill bit to locate it. And this is a 10 degree angle on the block. And I've tried to center, the angle is going through the center of this hole. So if you can imagine, the center line of rotation of the blade should be on the same center line as the hole. Now it's not going to be perfect, but the four blades at least should be consistent. They should all be the same. Um, I'm not a woodworker, although I should improve, but hopefully you can get some idea of what I'm trying to do there. So I'm going to turn on the strip heater, uh, heat up just this bit here between the two V's. I'm going to use a um, piece of metal underneath here to try and hopefully protect these edges from getting heated as well. And then locate the piece in the wood with a 10 millimeter drill bit and then press down on here to hold or to bend the piece and I'll just do each one in turn. Probably only show one in the video but you'll get the idea. So here we have the piece of plastic on the strip heater uh, heating up. I've lined up the corners on the inside here with the wire underneath and these two pieces of aluminium are just sitting uh, above the wire but underneath the plastic just to protect these two sides from excess heating and um, they will get hot so do be careful when dealing with them if you're doing something like this. Come back in a few minutes once it's smooth and show it being bent on the block of wood. Okay so the piece looks like it's ready. I'm putting that in there now I'm going to locate the hole and just press down on that. Now it's not much of an angle it is only 10 degrees but hopefully, I'm trying to keep this level with the piece of wood as well, hopefully there's enough of an angle just to give us a little bit of a breeze out of the, out of the fan. Um, it's not actually too hot, and that does not burning even though I'm touching on it. Is it springing back? No. Nope. So hopefully, we've done the job. Right, we definitely have a slight angle on it. If we can line that up there, you should be able to see there's a slight tilt there. And that'll be more noticeable when we have all four done. So I'll show it to you when it's completed. It's the desired result in terms of manufacturing. Whether it's a desired result in terms of actually working is another story. We shall see. Right, so that's finished. Um, you should be able to see there in the video there is a slight angle on each blade and hopefully we can get enough uh, air forced out of the fan through that sort of a shape. Um, that's all of the parts made, that was the design part. So at this stage now I just need to do some tidying up. I want to uh, emery paper, clean off emery paper and polish the brass pieces. I'm going to cover them in a clear plastic coat finish. Uh, the coil, coil call around the edge, the safety cover, um, I'm going to clean up and then spray paint black. Um, I like black and red, I think they look good together and the base is black, this will be black and there's a few red and brass pieces in there. Um, so the next video then will be about the, putting the electronics together, the little that there is, and assembling the whole project. Uh, see you soon for that. Bye.